So anyway, I'm tired of the news. Um, that that's just it's just driving me crazy. Um, let's do a quick market update because it it's been a weird week. Lots of lots of listings. So. Um, let me share my screen. I'm going to, I'm going to, oh, I did anyway. I'm going to mute and I'm going to make myself another coffee while, you, while I talk. Oh, I've muted too early while you talk. About <laughs> Thank you, Joel, for that great introduction. Um, oh, I'm going to do our zoom in because I remember we're on zoom and we got to zoom in. Uh, so 71 new listings hit the market in the last seven days. Again, this is Lethbridge, Coldale, Colehurst. Average $339,000, so that's up, oh, 72. Look, one just listed since I clicked that button. Um, 72 is a good number. That's what we want to see every week. Uh, 58 sold, 31 pending, so that puts us at 89. So again, we might have a net loss, but not really because the pendings will go into next week. So let's just say that's a net gain of 13 for the week. Uh, 58 to sell every week is a, a good number for us. And the average, 331. Uh, 69 days on market. Now, Joel had a really good point, and we want to point this out. Um, with 58 sales, uh, the everyone's like, "Oh my gosh, the, everyone's going over asking price or full price, right?" Uh, look at this: 97.71% sales price. Now, I hate when people compare this. This is not indicative. And also, actually, Joel, this number is going to be way low this week because of a weird one that posted accidentally for 100 grand less. So, mm -hmm. let's pretend the median is more correct. You know, one and a half percent off. Uh, negotiation doesn't make sense, right? So 350 times 0. 0.985, 345. Yeah, so that's about right, right? One and a half percent negotiations. That's been Lethbridge forever. That's the way it works. So um, you don't always have to pay full price. However, if it's a wicked clean house and it just hits the market, you're probably going to pay full price. Um, yeah, so you got to be careful yeah. there. Yeah. The, but, the days on market I found interesting as well, because, you know, the, the narrative when you talk to a lot of agents out there is, oh, everything's selling in a day, in a day, in less than a day, in two days, in seven days, while the average is, what, 68? 60, yeah. So, but look at this. Yeah. When you look at it, you're like, oh, there's a couple that sold super quick. Obviously, this one, they sold before it even hit the market. So I'm guessing they had it pre-sold. But, um, you know, 14 days right in that range, that's your condition date. So that's normal. But then you start seeing it gets higher. There's a month here. Um, why is this so? Ugh, there we go. That's better. Um, so you start seeing it gets 20, 30, 40. So that's kind of where you are sitting. Um, I would suggest that that 25 to 75 seems to be where the bulk of it is. And then there's a few that finally got off the market after a long time. So that'll change it. But that, those will balance out those ones, right? So, um, yeah, I think everyone's in this, like, oh my gosh, it's it's the craziest market ever. And you have to, nah, you don't have to pay full, full, full price. Um, but when you do find a house, if you're a buyer right now and you keep missing out on stuff because you're trying to lowball, there's a reason. Like stuff is not going for a lot less than um, what it's listed for. So no, I, I think, and I could be wrong and I'm open to being wrong, but if you want a good deal on a house, um, yeah, it's, it's still worth looking in and cause we're seeing decent deals happening on houses, uh, still. Um, so it's, it's worth being out there, but if you, if all you want is a good deal, you need to be patient. Uh, this market isn't indicative of getting a good deal all the time. So it's better for sellers right now, for sure. But yeah. buyers aren't getting the short end of it. Like in 2007, where you were just like, I'll take anything. I don't care. I just need a house. And, and it's not quite the same here. Um, Look at this, the pendings, 30 pendings right now, uh, average 307. So that's a lower number, right? We were usually in the 330, 340 range. So, um, and then the median's in that 290 range. Again, actually, if we look at this one, this would be a good one to look at. And the pendings is at 47 days in the market on average. Yeah, and see the pendings, there's a bunch that, yeah, they get it in the first week, that's awesome. And then these ones are a couple weeks in and then a couple more, why does it keep bouncing out here? Um, but uh, yeah, so it's not, it's not just black and white list and gone. There are situations like that, but you know, some, some are going to sit for a little bit. So um, overall, pretty strong market. And you can see a few price decreases, you know, 38 have dropped their price. So obviously they haven't had as much activity as they want. Um, let's There's see what our bunch of price increases as well. Yeah. That's usually weird. Um, Builders. I mean, Builders, yeah, builders. It Let's look at in Lethbridge, 288. So we're still below that 300 mark. Um, let's see what the average is there. 412,000. You know, I've had this argument for like six years and no one believes me. I'm like, no, nah, the average in Lethbridge is like 380 to 400. 
and no one believes me. And I was like, that's, that's what it's been forever. So anyway, everyone else is wrong. Just everyone remember that. Um, <laughs> average days on market 88. That's normal. That's typical left British stuff. Um, so um, yeah, pretty, pretty good. Um, let's see the solds for the entire year. Cause I think it's, it's up quite a bit um, or it's doing well anyway. So 442 sales in Lethbridge year to date. And if we, so what's that 442, we go back to the pandemic, it's gonna be way lower, 291. So a huge difference there. And if we go 2019, cause that early 2020 was a weird year, uh, 268. So we're still 160 higher than 2019. Uh, let's check 2018 just for S and G's. 258. So we are blowing it out of the water for year to date sales. Um, that is crazy, but that is indicative of the fact that we don't have a ton of actives out there, right? Um, in the detached market, um, condos, our system's so insane. The easiest way to find condos is not, not a condo, uh, <laughs> 165. If we check out sales, whoops, for year to date here, it's going to be low. I'm sure of it. Mm -hmm. Um, it's hard to even buy a showing. Uh, oops. So actives. So 54 sales of condos for the whole year out of the, um, whatever. 148. Yeah. And so 54 in three months and there's 165. So that's a year's worth of inventory right there. There's a full year. If you're on the market right now as a condo, it's, it's tough. How many are pending? Just six, <laughs> not a lot. Um, but Hang in there, condos. Let's see where these ones are. And look, it's just random. 120, 140, 220, 283, 60, 370. So mm -hmm. um, very, very random. So anything else you wanted to look at in the uh, the market update there, Joel? No, I, I, I think the stats are telling the story of what's going on in this market. Um, yeah, I yeah. think it's super telling. So anybody who's watching this and following the stats week by week by week, you're very well educated on, I think, what's actually going on. Yeah. So good for you. There's only uh, 29 active in Coldale right now. And if you go back, sold, let's just see, say 60 days, there's 45 sales. So there's not even 60 days worth of inventory in all of Coldale. Um, yeah. so. Colhurst is going to be similar, I, I think. Colhurst, yeah. is Colhurst is getting lots of action right now. So they had seven in the last 60 days sell. And they have 10 on the market. So they're just over 60 days worth of inventory left. Um, I bet we can figure that out. It's about the average, I guess. 68 days of inventory left. Yeah. So, yeah. Just over um, what Lethbridge is doing. So, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, it's uh, it's an interesting world out there right now, but the market's still good. Like uh, it's definitely, I think it's going to start slowing down a little bit, but um I'm feeling that this week, which is weird because, you know, it's, I mean, although we've had a few colder days, typically warmer weather, spring starts to ignite people getting out there. But I think, I think the people, the majority of the people that are causing this frenzy have bought. Right. Yeah, I agree. I agree. And now it's just the tailing off of the people that need that's, to. Up. That's right. I mean, there, there's going to be some residual and all of that stuff, but Right. Um, I, I think the majority, I mean, uh, who knows? Tomorrow's a new day. <laughs> mm -hmm.